Okay, we're going to do a carb clean. It's a basic Cleveland slide valve carb. It's slide valve because it has this valve in there that manually opens and closes. It has an accelerator pump on the side. This cam pushes down on the accelerator pump, gives a little extra squirt inside. Let's disassemble. Slide, I'm pushing in, bringing that out. Needle comes out. Accelerator cable, unscrew the Nut, release the cable. A little wiggle, set that aside. Float ball comes off next. There's three screws. Set so aside the float pole. I'm going to use a little razor here to pick out that float pole gasket. That one has got a bit of residue on the side. Looks like old glue. Any of that glue gets inside your carburetor. There's a nice chunk there. Could clog up a jet. I have a replacement, nice and clean, no residue, no glue. Main jet, I'm going to set that aside, pilot jet. This is the mixture screw. Very small, skinny needle tip to the mixture screw. Inside is a spring, a washer, and an O-ring. You need to fish them out. Washer came out. O ring. Next is the emulsion tube. Out and last. Pushing out from the top. The needle jet. Needle jet. And there is an upside and a downside to that. Now this carb has only had fuel in it for about a month of sitting. First place that varnish is going to form is right here on the slide needle. Right there is a ring of varnish. That's quite a lot. 
that's enough to clog up fuel flow at idle and make it run very lean. The needle jet is the other half of that fuel circuit. When the slide is closed, that position is the evaporation point for fuel in the float bowl. It's going to be equal amount of varnish on the needle and inside the bore of the needle jet. Both have to be cleaned out. Pilot jet has a tiny hole in it, only about 0.4 millimeter maybe. We're going to have to examine that with a magnifying glass to make sure that we see through a clear round hole, no clods. Main jet also. Main jet's much larger. Let's get some gloves on. Start cleaning. Needles easy to clean. A little wiping. No more varnish ring. Needle jet. Spray some in there. And we need to wipe inside that bore. All I'm using is a Q-tip. Pushing in there, and just giving a little bit of a wipe. That's all it needs to get that varnish out of there. That's the first place that varnish will form if there's fuel in the float bowl just sitting. I'm going to use a tiny, tiny drill here. Anything will do, such as a guitar wire, tiny piece of wire. I'm pushing that through. And you know it's clean if you can see the clean round hole of light shining right through. A little bit of the air. Check that again. Nice, nice and clean. Main jet. Clean round hole. Let's clean our float bowl a little bit more. Any varnish that's in the float bowl, basically, as long as there's not debris clogging a hole, it doesn't really do much to clog the carburation. Now for reassembly, start with the needle jet. The beveled concave edge goes in first. The rounded edge goes in the bottom. Emulsion tube. Press it down a little bit. There it goes. Snug, clean pilot jet. Snug. Assembly in the mixer screw is spring, washer, and an O-ring. Flipping that O-ring over because it's taken a set flat edge towards the washer, rounded edge up. 
then that goes in. All mixture screws are adjusted by seating completely, screwing in all the way, lightly seated, and then turning out a certain number of turns. Two and a half turns for a stock carb. Main jet. Check our float. There's a spring loaded plunger in there. It's loose, it pops up. And the plunger needle falls down. If it's just seated, we want a measurement of 14 millimeters from the body to the float. The float's basically parallel to the body, and that's your adjustment. Parallel right there. Okay. Float bowl is clean, no loose debris. New gasket. Doesn't need any glue. That groove will hold it in place. Be sure that the accelerator pump arm is in the up position. And put the bowl on. The plunger for the accelerator pump is pushed down by this arm. This arm needs to be in the up position, not in the lower position. And you know what's wrong. Three screws snug down. This particular carb didn't have a lot of varnish in it, but it was enough to really clog up the idle circuit, which was that varnish on the needle and in the needle jet. Pilot was clean. But that's enough to make the bike run poorly. If this were sitting for a year, there'd be much more varnish inside clogging the main jet, clogging the pilot jet, inside the bowl. There may be corrosion from the aluminum, from ethanol in the fuel. All that needs to be cleaned out. This one's in pretty good shape. Last is putting the needle back in. Drop it in. Spring holds it in place. Install it on the cable. Spring goes on first. And compress. Then in that groove. The cutaway always goes towards the intake side. Where the air comes in. There's a locating groove on the other side. That keeps the slide from spinning around. Accelerator pump. Attach cable. Adjust her up to the bracket. Adjustment is not too critical, but When the arm comes up, be sure it does not jam against the adjuster here. Make sure there's a few millimeters of clearance. Ready to go back on the bike.